What is the right the way? Welcome back to our channel, my boy. Get started. Here goes Grandpa. Turn our kids and give you who's from up. Say, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. Say, welcome to 9.4. 9.4. Environmental issues. Environmental issues. Say, you better watch. Better watch. Or else. Or else. Then shake your finger at them. Let's rock and roll on this. Probably the shortest uh, video we'll do all year, which who doesn't like that for the second to last video. Um, some environmental issues that we see. You probably should have, you should probably learn about these, just probably obvious, but I just want to point out specific areas that both these things happen. One is desertification, which is the increasing of deserts um, around the world and the growth of deserts. Deserts that were a smaller size are now growing at a larger rate, generally because of overgrazing. It can also be from cutting down trees. Um, but one area that we see this is in the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert is growing every year um, as a result of this overgrazing. And the main area that we see it is, is the Sahal, which is right here where the, um, the Sahara Desert is pushing southward as a result of human interaction with the environment. Also, we see deforestation. This is the clearing of forest in the Amazon. This is an example of a place that used to be in the Amazon that used to be rainforest, but then it's cut down for logging and for lumber. Um, we have a lot of stuff in the world, especially in the industrialized world, made of wood. Um, that comes from obviously trees and uh, people are clearing these forests and not replanting. So it's leading to a lack of diversity, impacts on weather patterns and wind patterns and whatnot. Um, also, we have the competition over resources. There is increase because of the population growth, um, there's an increased consumption of water. Um, and in some areas around the world, we have water scarcity, which leads to wars and fighting between different peoples over this competition of water. Um, anywhere on here that is in blue, light blue, there's the very light blue is there's it's approaching water scarcity. Darker blue is there is physical water scarcity. And then the darker blue is economic water scarcity. So the 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 blue is the worst. So you can see kind of sub-Saharan Africa. We have um in uh, essentially uh, Ecuador and Peru and then even in the southwest part of the United States where we have kind of competition whether you have if you think about um, if you know anyone who lives out in the southwest you might have days where you're not allowed to use your sprinklers in the summertime or you have limited water consumption um, and that's a way to um, reduce the amount of consumption so there's enough water for everybody also we have clean air um, a lot of developing countries that are our manufacturing economies are polluting the environment um, without with very limited pollution controls um, this is an example of um, what it looks like when your city gets hit in smog and pollution. Um, there's some uh, where we see this the worst is in parts of the industrialized cities in uh, China where you have smog days. We also see it in L.A. Um, smog alert days where you're supposed to be careful going outside. Also, we have the release of greenhouse gases. Um, and other pollutants that are going to lead to uh, debates on what caused climate change, whether or not it's man-made, whether or not it's a natural progression. Uh, most climate scientists today believe that it is there's some kind of man-made impact on it. Some people point to uh, carbon dioxide. Some people point to methane, um, methane gas, which is mainly released by cows when they fart, um, also leads to this um, leads to essentially greenhouse gases and causing uh, the warming of the earth's temperatures this is the the average the, in the red here we'll go there's the annual mean and the red line is the five-year running mean this is the global temperature based on meteorology meteorological stations around the world um, and this is how much the temperature has gone up between 1880 and today based on the mean um, Overall, this looks like really crazy, but it's about a little over a, a one degree Celsius. But still, that's a lot when you start getting into areas that are um, expect a certain climate, um, whether it is uh, the Arctic. Um, and if this continues to go, there's fear of what this could mean uh, further on down the road. And then you got just the, I got this chart. This is the overall global temperature um, from zero CE uh, through 2000. And, this is point you can kind of see kind of the, some ups and downs here um and this is the little ice age here in the 1700s and then it kind of drops back up so i'm sure you talked about this before but there's a lot of debates today on what caused it um and last there are people who protest um humans impact on the environment so there's there one example of a group who is a protest organization is called 
uh, Greenpeace. This is an international organization. They focus on climate issues, deforestation, overfishing, anti-nuclear issues, anything that deals with the environment they are involved in. Um, they generally do kind of bold um, protests. So for example, this, I believe, this looks like it was in Washington, but I'm not sure. My guess is um, this was in 2016 at a Hillary Clinton rally or something where it says Hillary say no to fossil fuels. So they'll fly this blimp overhead um, after Trump was inaugurated in 20. 17 because of his promise to loosen environmental standards and allow businesses to kind of make their own choice very free market hands off of pollution controls and whatnot um, this was put up by greenpeace behind the white house a couple blocks away they rented this huge crane and put resist so whenever you looked at the white house you would see this resist sign i think it was up for maybe a couple weeks um, so seriously that's all I got for this one. Let's go to the outro. As always, if you have any questions, subscribe, turn on Kate, and give me a huge thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it. You tell them. If you have any questions, do you have any questions? Write it down and let my dad know. You say. It. Let my dad know. And say I'm out. I'm and out. throw up two fingers like this. Say peace. Peace. Any questions? I don't have to go party. Say, can you say if you have any questions? I have to go poop. All right. And